Bo knows baseball. Bo knows football. Shoot, Bo even knows golf. He won a long drive contest back in April. But you know what Bo doesn't know? How to beat the Texas Longhorns. Hey, I'm Michael Callahan, and on this forgotten day in Longhorns football, presented by Direct Energy, September 16th, 1983, publications across the country were predicting a victory at home for fifth-ranked Auburn over third-ranked Texas. Both schools were bursting with potential that season, but the experts were clearly favoring the Tigers' dynamic wishbone attack, led by the backfield duo of Lionel James and a sophomore sensation named Bo Jackson. Auburn's Jordan Hare Stadium was supposed to be delirious with excitement as the Tigers would roar to a 31 to 21 win over an excellent Texas team. But it turns out that Auburn buzz would be silenced by the sting of a stifling Texas defense. In the first half, the Tigers never got past midfield, and the Longhorns held them to just two first downs and 51 yards of total offense en route to a 10 0 halftime lead. The second half, more of the same. In fact, Auburn wouldn't even get on the board until a garbage time touchdown with 133 left in the game. The signature play that day? A ridiculous one-handed pick by consensus All-American DB and Southwest Conference Player of the Year, Jerry Gray. He was a great one. Texas tamed the Tigers 20 to seven on the road, and Bo Jackson was held to just 35 yards rushing against a dominant Texas front seven. After the game, a demoralized Bo Jackson said the Longhorns left him feeling like I've been stampeded by a herd of cows. They knew every play. Now, the truth is, Bo Jackson ran into what many consider to be the greatest defense the Texas Longhorns have ever fielded. The Texas 11 were most definitely an immovable object. All right, now a year later, Bo Jackson actually got another shot at the Longhorns in Austin. And while he did rack up 103 yards on the ground that day, Texas prevailed once again 35-27. All right, I want to know, what is your favorite example of the Longhorns shutting down a star player? Let us know in the comments below or tweet me, Michael Callahan at MCallahanTV, using hashtag ForgottenDayUT. I'll tweet you back.